The second lesson, after she wore me up on the ah vowel, she asked me to locate structure again, to sing an ah, and then to sing an o oh without moving the jaw. And the fingers are in the hole now to monitor movement. If there's any movement between the ah and the o, oh, it's going to register here, and it'll reflect at the tip of the jaw. And I began to wonder, well, how does one sing an O without moving the jaw? And she said, it looks like this. And the exercise. She started in the key of D and made a point of taking me as low as I could go to make sure I had that O vowel in there. Now click that pause button and check that O vowel out. If this O vowel structure is as foreign to you as it was to me, what caught my attention is that fact. I had never sung an O vowel like that before and it felt good. I liked it. Swirling around in my throat. But what was to come in about five minutes is what got my attention. I say five minutes because she worked me on that oval with that exercise until I got it right, or halfway right. And as soon as I did, she introduced another vowel. Again, if this oval structure is new to you, I suggest you click the pause and with fingers in position, face in a mirror, get the hang of this oval. For what's to come, comes from this oval structure. And I would like to keep you with me. Also, it helps to say the word. Ho, ho, ho. Just like Santa Claus would say, Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Just blow it through the O without moving the lips. Oh, yes. I think it helps to stretch out. Get that jaw all the way back. Pull the lips over like any athlete would stretch out until it gets comfortable. After I got the oval halfway right, she said, get in position, sing ah, then o, oh, and then sing o, oh, through the o, oh, being sure not to move the jaw. It looked like this. Ah, oh, ah, oh. button and check that ah, uh, oh, ooh out. All right, let me show you what I did the first time she asked me to sing that exercise. Ah, oh, I couldn't keep my jaw down to save my life. I, she spent the rest of that lesson breaking in me to that oval structure and singing ooh through it without moving the TMJ. The first week of work was to master that exercise. I should say master the oval structure, for that was what was new. If I got that, I would sing ooh through it. What I remember is that day I left the studio with a look on my face I'll never forget. I had never sung an O and a new like that, and it felt good. And I'm going down three flights of stairs before I hit the streets, contemplating this O, this O. It's on my face, and it's coming out of my throat. Oh, 
as if not to forget it, really not to forget it. And then, out of nowhere, tenors, I had sung that phrase many a time, but never with that oh, and never with that ooh. It had my attention.